Video Celebrity News, Craig Metrovich, if you missed the live interview, guess what? Go and look at facebook.com forward slash Metrovich. We are sharing the action here on the water. This is the high definition, uncut, extended version with the beautiful Hollywood movie superstar, celebrity and gorgeous... Tanya Thank you, Craig. I thought you were going to say shark. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, listen. And we've got a we've got a video bomber in the background. No and a shout out to Jacques Killers from Adrenalize for bringing us out yes. here. And this is the part where we're going to share the experience of going into the water. And not only that, we'll have a hyperlink later where you can see Tanya and Jacques under the water. But for this part of the session, we're going to do a quick little interview with the rocking in the background and get some questions out of this interview to so, Tanya first question yes what is this setting all about I mean woo it's amazing it is phenomenal it's what is this all about shock let's go where so we are we're at come, the 12 go, go, go. it's called Otocrawl as you can see the 12 Apostles Mountain Range behind us um, and the main focus of this little expedition out here is our little okay. seal colony over there. Okay, show us, show us, show us. Um, there we go. It's called Strawberry Rocks. Strawberry um, Rocks. I'll bring it around, I'll bring right, it around, I'll bring it around, I'll bring it up. And this yes. is one of the most unique features of Cape Town is snorkeling with the seals. And we'll be free diving with them today and we'll also scuba dive with them. So, I mean, if it, I say it's phenomenal. Apart from the free diving side, which in itself is quite a challenge, I understand, from a yeah. live interview. The fact that you can do that and incorporate the natural marine life, I mean, that That's is why we do that it. is super amazing because yeah. it's not about just diving down, it's no. the fact that you can interact in the natural environment. And it's education. It's just That's education. It's Correct. So let's just tell you what happened as we headed out. So we're on a beautiful boat. We headed out. How many minutes did it take us? About just 25 a, minutes. So about 25 minutes cruising out. It was much, put it this way, the sea's a little bit hectic today, but the boat was phenomenal. So for your client base and people visiting, am I right, Tanya? Yes. It's, it's not like, it's, it's adrenaline, but it doesn't feel dangerous or anything like that. No, no right. you've got to keep within your limits and sign, look at the ocean conditions and sign, and it's about people's comfort. Correct. And it's Correct. the experience at the end of the day. It's not about just getting the blood flowing and sign. It's the overall package. So Tanya, let's get into the, the more detail about how, how did you get to be involved with the free diving side. So what was your intro? Because uh, we haven't mentioned it. What was the intro? Well, I've always, like, like I said, I've always been free diving without being, meaning like knowing exactly how to do it. And just a few months ago, I just, uh, yeah, like I said, there was a role that I really wanted to do. And I always go completely full full on with things and I was like well I think I need it's time for me to get certified I used to live in Joburg and I, I wasn't you know able to do it there and, I, and Cape Town it's right here so I, I knew it was the time to do it so that's the link between the three of us if we're gonna do something I'm very similar in my personality I would rather go flat out and mess up big time because I can learn from messing up big time then kind of in a mediocre try something yeah. so that's the connection exactly. I see between the three of us let's talk about the water conditions and, and you being now a free diver Free diver, what do you see today? Let's make it real for us. What do you? How would you suss out the conditions? Well, what are today, you analyzing? Let's chat about that. Um, again, novices, we wouldn't bring out here today. Um, okay, there, fair there enough. A of surge and so on. So, obviously, we're looking at the tides, looking at the surge coming past the rocks and so on. Right. Uh, looking at the currents, how they move around the rocks and so on. So, what we'll actually be doing is. Uh, staying a bit further off of the rocks so that we don't get washed onto them. All right, fair um, enough. The seals come towards you in the water as well. What? So, so, so when you get in the water, they want to be entertained? Yeah. Right. As okay. much as we're looking at them, they're looking at us. We're not <laughs> touching them. Okay, though. they're, they're checking you out. Yeah. All right, so that's a, that's a good point. Uh, you say you're not touching them. Okay, explain that to me. Because remember, I haven't done what you're doing, right? So why? Okay, I would so want to touch them. I know. Okay, exactly. It. You explain would it. want to touch them and yeah. so on. How would you feel if something massive and big out of your comfort zone comes and just like starts patting you around and scratching you and so on? You know, we don't have a right to be here. We've got a privilege to be here. Okay, that's a very good point. Yeah, this is fact their, you're right. It's their home. It's their territory. Exactly. And we're just guests here. And this is all about education, bringing people out here, being in the water, experiencing the wildlife. Everyone goes to Kruger and everything. We've got the oceans, you know. Yeah. We've got the seals right here um, that we can go and experience and sign. And they're phenomenal, intelligent creatures. And on land, um, people see them as very vicious and sign because 
you know, they're very, very vulnerable. They can't move around a lot. In the water, they're like little torpedoes. Are they like naughty kids? Listen, are they yeah, yeah. Let's they talk to Tanya. Tanya, so what's your experience? Are they like naughty kids under the water? Well, I'm, I'm trying I, to I've visualize. I've seen them, and then just how they swim, they're incredibly fast. And they just, you know, they, they, look, they look like the dogs of the ocean, but they're way more than that. They're amazing. Uh, do they bark under the ocean? That's my they next official bark. question. Yes, they, <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. They do. Yes, do they, they do to get it's your a, attention. That's not a rumor. Uh, no. I, I kind of like thought, why do you mean they bark under the water? No, like, I've, I've got this female when we go scuba diving, and I've got her like where she actually swims right next to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and He's under not the water. About me, though. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're not talking about the buddy in the water with exactly. you. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so she swims next to me and so on. And, Sometimes when we don't pay attention, she actually gives off this barking noise uh, to get our attention, to look at it and, and, pay and her attention. Uh, also understanding that in water, you know, from an echo point of view, uh, I just give me an idea, is it quite loud? Like, I'm trying to, well, for our viewers, for our viewers, I'm trying to like explain no, how it's loud. Travels, so it travels faster than yeah. that. So. Even down here, today, potentially, there is wells offshore here and so on, and a lot of times you can actually hear the echo signs under the water. So, that would, um, that would be pretty we'll be amazing, to, eh? That's Somewhere along the line, we get, you know, experience a well. That oh, must yeah. be surreal, because the scale of it, yeah. it must be like, Some wow. scuba divers have experienced it in false bay, but yeah. I've never, but it's Not on my bucket really. list. Okay. So, I just want to okay. experience it. So, listen to that. So, uh, what I love about this conversation is, even though you're doing something that is aspirational, it's, it's something that most people would love on their to-do list, and you're on the water quite often. You've still got something on your back at this. Totally, totally. It's amazing. And that's what well, the right ocean does. Right in front does. of us now, there's the a big does. mola mola, a sunfish. So if you oh, look wow, at the movements yes. on the we, surface. We, 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 we. Okay, yeah, so we yeah. Okay, listen. Let's so turn around. That, we don't know. Let's turn around. We've got to get that in. It's a once in a lifetime yeah. opportunity. I've got so, you in frame. Let's move up to the boat. Yeah, so yes. he's coming straight towards us. Yes, Tanya, you stay in frame here. Jacques, yes. can you, you can yeah. run us through. There we yeah. go. So yeah. if you actually look at the, the fin movements on the up. surface, you know, in false uh, or in the Atlantic, yeah. especially Bloberg and stuff. Mr. Skipper, send us to the sunfish. What we normally it? hear Sorry, what's the it's a mola mola, a mola sunfish. Mola. Uh, a lot of Europeans actually call it a moonfish. Um, wow. Now the thing is, um, on the Atlantic side, yeah, a lot of times when they've um, said they've seen a great white or a shark or sun. It's actually not. It's a mola mola, and if you look at the fin movement on the surface, it does look like a shark's fin moving. So um, the difference is the best way to tell the difference is um, a shark's fin normally has jagged red, uh, ridges on it, and that's the identity. It's like their their fingerprints as well. Right. So, so there so we let go. Me, let me move and he's around. A big boy so as well. you can move with me and see that it's in frame. All right. So wherever you are, I'm going to follow you. There we go. There he is. Unbelievable. Biggest bony fish in the ocean. Wow. The biggest one we've seen here is two meters tip to tip, and this one is oh incredible. <laughs> Check at this. A sub moves under the water. I'm going to lift Amazing. above it. Get us. Yo! Amazing. Look at that. Check at the fin. It does out. look like a shark. It looks That's like a, a shark's yeah. fin. Right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Guess what? We've been here a few minutes doing this interview with Tanya Van Kran, a Hollywood star, stunt <laughs> lady, athlete, free diver. And we have already experienced something really, really unique, and that it's in the background. Yeah, is that really, is yes, that unique? That is have I brought us fun? I think have we brought us luck as I, well? I think, I think that's, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Jacques, I told you, if you have me on the boat, the energy, the ocean can feel the energy. Right, let's get some some questions with you, Tanya, specifically. Uh, talk about the water and talk about acclimatizing. What are you going to do now? So, run me through what the process is now. So. From now, Craig, in the next five minutes, we should be doing X, Y, and Z. So, What's yeah. the process? So I'm, I'm going to suit up properly. I'm going to have my hoodie on. That's five. So this beautiful now. outfit, yeah. I'm going to scan you. It's, uh, it's like a Let's triathlon. Go down. It's like I'm a gonna special. Scan you. <laughs> oh yes, I'm going to scan you. Uh, it's very streamlined. I mean, it's a wetsuit. I'm wearing booties. I'm wearing gloves. I put my the right amount of weight on my um, on me and my my uh, yeah my goggles. My goggles. And also, just okay. Let's talk about the goggles, <laughs> the mask at least. <laughs> I see you me. can. I see mask. you can actually uh, equalize it. Is it. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely, and it's a low-profile mask. So um, because if the air is in the in the mask, you can't go. I mean, that's not good. For okay, you. correct. Going down. Yeah. So and do you so use it like well, a goes, demister? Woo! -hoo! Goes, We've got one hooligan in the water already. Is that sure? He's going. You should grab my There we go. Here we go. Come, grab, come, grab, come, grab. Shark, you know something good because I can see in the frame now. 
awesome. And that'll direct me. Tanya, get your beautiful face and smile in here as well. That means we have to go. <laughs> ready when you are. All right, so this is the story. This part of the interview is deliberately designed to be about being in the water and close to the water. So I'm going to chit chat you through this. Okay, Tanya, go for it. Get ready. Oh get in the water if you're ready. <laughs> okay, so for the viewers, our international viewers, this is Cape Town, South Africa. My name is Craig Metrich. You're watching the Good News Channel, VideoCelebrityNews.com. It is a phenomenal day. Yeah, the, the setting is just surreal. I must be totally frank. Jacques, woohoo! Check at it! Come and grab the GoPro here as well. Love it! Love it, love it, love it. Look at that background. All right, I'm gonna make. Yeah, take the GoPro. I'm gonna make less noise for a few seconds so that everybody can enjoy this. We've got a skipper here as well. And by the way, my hairstyle is from going. How fast were we? 96. I think we're about 96 kilometers an hour. We tra travel in the boat quite easily and safely. All right, I'm gonna get back here. There we go. <laughs> Let's get this in the background. Okay, so Jacques, tell us what you're seeing. It's a big bola bola. It's about two meters tip to tip. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, which is incredible. It's the biggest one we've seen. Whoa, I've got to run across here. Along. It's right, right to front of you. Okay, so it's a big okay, mola mola. He's cruising along. And guess what? I'm going to show you. He's diving down under the water. I hope you can it's all see it. It's quite it's deep. Go, just go. Okay, Jacques, you follow through. Cape Town, South Africa. Absolutely surreal and amazing. What a blessing. What a privilege. There we go. Okay, I'm going to head now towards Tanya van Kran, who's going to also be heading into the water soon. Let's just show you what's happening here. There we go. Mike here, sorry about this noise. Ja, my five weights. Five, I think. Four. Four, Four weights. Excellent. I'm going to walk through so you can all experience this. <laughs> By the way, any mistakes we make in this, too bad. Everything is raw. Uncut, unedited, and uh, thank you, Skipper. Yeah, give me some water, please, Skipper. And we're going to share with you the real marine life. Jacques, come a little bit closer. There we go. That was an How was that experience? Eh? My first time Is there ever one? being relaxed with a sunfish like that. They're normally quite skittish. This one was absolutely awesome, just chilled out. So was that like a once in a lifetime experience? Well, was that a once in a lifetime experience? That, for me, that, that was my first time I've ever done it. So yes, that was a once in a lifetime experience for me personally. All right, um, I'm going to come around and get us in the light. Let's just see, where is it? Sorry, my excitement is unbelievable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my free diving gear and then actually swim with it and get some underwater footage and hopefully you can add that later today. Okay, so just from a, a sound point of view, his comments so are this is a first for him, it is surreal. It's still hanging around you in the background. You might see the fin come up every now and then. Sorry about the lighting. I'm going to work on that right now. Get in there, Jacques. Well done. And Mr. Skipper, if you can just point out for me every now and then where it is, if you can see it. Get closer to it. Okay, there we go. Jacques, come and get into the frame here quickly. Let's have a chit chat. Yeah. Right. This is from VideoCelebrityNews.com, the good news channel with Jacques Ellis from Adrenalize. Tanya's getting dressed in the background. That's the only reason why we haven't got in the frame. <laughs> I mean, luckily her husband, I believe, is a really cool oak. Am I right? Is he a good guy? Yeah, he's really good. Remember awesome saying now? Guy. Yes, he is. He is and really uh, she's getting changed to head out on the water. And we are doing a little bit of a cruise out to see. Jacques, if you can grab this mic here from me quickly. There we go. And you can chit chat us through. Right, let's get okay, you to the frame. So, Come um, a little bit forward into the light. We are going to try and get a bit closer to it. Obviously, we're not too close to the boats because they are a bit uh, sketchish of boats and so on. A lot of them, you know, people travel around the world to see these guys. Uh, we're very fortunate enough in Cape Town to have them. And um, so we'll just stop the boat, swim out towards it, uh, check it out, make sure it's totally comfortable and happy with us being in the water with it, and then get some epic underwater footage. This is what dreams are about. If anybody wants to be inspired, 
Guess what? Come and share the reality of the outdoors. Come and share the fun of the ocean. Come and join Adrenalized. Come and have some fun in Cape Town, South Africa. We are now super close here. Right, okay, Jacques, okay. let's stand up together. We've got about two, three minutes. Okay, I just want to get some more footage. Okay, there we go. Brilliant. Okay, okay try perfect. and point now. You look in the background and just tell me when you see. It's right the behind us. It's basically if 12 o'clock is behind us, it's yeah, yeah, between exactly 12 on and it. 1. Okay, between 12 and 1. And All right, which going. means, sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to just put that up between the pole and we'll see it. Okay, I've got the pole here as my actual measure. Yeah. You'll see the fin coming up, ladies and gentlemen. I trust our viewers can see it. For international viewers, welcome to paradise. Are you ready to show the background here? I'm going to do a 360 for everybody. Okay, if you can, uh, Jacques, if I can walk through you, well done. Give me the mic, that other mic. Okay. There you go. Thank you very much. Have you got it? Yeah, I've got it. Perfect. Okay. Sorry about the knocking here. Woo! Boat. Do you know, to film on a boat, vlogging style, is not the easiest thing in the world. That I'll tell you. All right, I'm heading towards Tanya von Kran, who is almost set up and ready. Tanya, are you almost ready? Yes or no? Let me just step across here. No, don't worry about me. There we go. I'm in here. Woo! Almost. Well, considering this is a lady that was rated as what? One of the hottest, just tell us. One of the uh, hottest the ladies. Sexiest, <laughs> sexiest what? Woman in the world. The sexiest woman in the world. Now imagine if I met her for the interview looking like this. I would seriously be worried about that statement, eh? Well, my outfit, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Alright, on a serious note, I haven't asked you one or two more questions before you go over. How do you feel right now? Is it like, Craig, I'm calm. I'm looking forward to this. Well, I mean, how are you look, feeling? Looking at the conditions, you see there's a little more of a swell, so you just have to kind of... You have to find your calm, so as soon as I'm ready and calm, then I, once we're in the water, you've got to, got to do a bit of breathe up, millennium breathe up, so yeah, then you've got to go in full meditation. I love that. Okay, so there's, there's the technique around it is quite serious. Although we are having fun out here, what you're saying is, Craig, look, I need to like, get my mind aware right. Of, of your environment. Yeah. This is more recreational than um, depth or any uh, rainfall Correct. kind of. Not trying to do that right now, so yeah, just relax. So today is about you going and, in, and relaxing in a natural environment. Exactly. And, and interacting and with the seals. And interacting yes. with the seals. Okay, final question. Tanya van Kran, have you had fun with us today? I sure have. I sure have. <laughs> and it's just beginning. It's only the beginning. Just you wait. Wonderful. Well, that's a wrap up. My name's Craig Metro, which you will be able to see on videocelebritynews.com. The actual footage underwater. Share the love, share the light, get you in frame. Give me a smile because I love that smile. Share the good news.